Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I have so many incredible wallets that are shipping out today and I wanted to show you a little preview of what's in the video. I have a special custom Fat Herbie with a yellow and black, a blue and orange Fat Herbie, a carbon fiber Chicago comb, a black metal Chicago comb, natural chrome Excel vault key holder, intense blue shell cordovan Frank the Enforcer, Black Dublin Johnny the Fox, 100% Black Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox, Natural Chrome Excel Johnny the Fox, a Tumbled Natural Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox, Intense Blue with Black Shell Interior Johnny the Fox, 100% English Tan Dublin Johnny the Fox, and some new Kia Shell Cordovan Johnny the Foxes. So let me introduce you first here to today's flash sale. And we're not really sure what to call this one. We were calling it the taxi, and then now we're, I think we're calling it the uh, yellow jacket. Uh, but this is a pretty cool combo here. We've been trying to have some fun and experiment with different combinations. This is a yellow leather from Horween. And to be honest with you, I'm not certain what it is, but I believe this is a, a leather called Rockford. It's a little similar to the Essex leather, where it's a non-chrome veg leather. And this one has that really nice, vibrant yellowness to it. So what we did was we combined that with the black shell cordovan on the outside and some contrasting yellow stitching to give it that, that really cool look. I actually really like the way the inside looks with all this yellow going on. I think that is super cool. So this wallet will be up on our flash sale page by the time you see this video. It is an irregular. There are some little small scuffs and scratches on the inside card holders. Those tend to blend in rather nicely just with normal use, the outside of the wallet is looking really nice. So this one's up at a slight discount for these scuffs and scratches. Now here's another really cool custom Fat Herbie. And this one has that blue Rockford. And this is a, a waxed version of the Rockford. So it has a little bit more of a rich waxy feel. But the Rockford, we've been noticing, it gives you a nice vibrant color. Some of the other colors with a little bit more veg to them and a little bit more oils, tend to be a little darker and it's harder for us to get vibrant shades like this incredible blue Rockford. That's really cool. This one on the outside here, we have a really nice contrasting orange stitch. And that sort of hints at the orange on the inside here. So on the inside, this is some orange Essex. And I believe this is a color called Bold Orange. And it's a nice vibrant orangey shade that goes really well with this blue on the outside. This is a special custom order going out today. Can't wait for you to have this one. Here's a vault key holder in natural Chrome Excel. You can only pick up the non-shell Cordovan vault key holders on our Etsy page. If you're interested in that, we have a couple different items over there, including some Chrome Excel vault key holders. And we've got some of each of the Chicago comb shipping out today. Up first is the carbon fiber. And this is a really special comb. These are gonna last you forever, as will the metal combs. The carbon fiber is much less expensive. And so I think some people perceive the carbon fiber to be less abrasive, I would say. But what Chicago comb does is they actually finish down and polish in all of these little tines. So they're super smooth. So the carbon fiber one comes with an English tan Dublin leather sheath. It's about half the price of the other one. So the black metal comb here is much more of a heft to it, which I like. I, I like that it has a bit more substance to it. And we sell these with the black reverse shell cordovan comb sheets. Before we get onto a parade of John and the Foxes here, I wanted to show you this intense blue shell cordovan, Frank the Enforcer. And this one has been personalized on the back here. We're able to monogram uh, initials and names and different things onto each of our items. If you need some help with that, definitely let me know. But check out this intense blue shell. And I wanted to show you the color range that we see. On the back of this one, I noticed it's a little lighter, a little bit more of an aqua blue, a little bit of green tones in there, which is really nice. And certain angles, it looks a little bit more navy. And I think the combination of that aqua blue with the navy on the surface uh, just gives it a really nice depth of color. All right, here comes a parade of John of the Foxes. And there's so many cool ones. Uh, in the batch they're shipping out today. Up first, this is a Black Dublin Johnny the Fox. I love this wallet for many reasons, but number one, the Dublin itself. This is the best black leather that you can get. It's the only black leather that I have found that has any amount of natural grain character to it. 
And what I mean by that is if you look very closely, and I'll, maybe I'll put in a still image here of what the grain looks like, you can see all the fine detail in the leather itself. And that's because this is a naturally finished aniline leather. Most black leathers you find in the world are heavily finished with a thick layer of paint. So it covers up all that fine grain detail that I like to see. I feel like, why would you use leather and paint over it? It just doesn't make sense. You might as well just use plastic or something else. The other thing I love about this Giant of the Fox is that it's all blacked out. I like the stealth look of this Giant of the Fox. So black on the outside, black on the inside. All of the edges are nicely finished with black. And then the inside of the wallet, all the back sides of the leather are all black as well. All right, back in stock. This is a 100% shell cordovan Giant of the Fox in the black shell cordovan. And these are very challenging for us to make. Any shell cordovan interiors of the Giant of the Fox need to be naturally thin pieces of leather. And what I mean by that is each animal is a little bit different. Each piece of shell cordovan from Horween has a range of thickness. So we tend to see it range from about three ounces to maybe six ounces. And to give you a little perspective on that, something like a shoe, oftentimes a shoemaker would like leather to be around five or six ounces. For the inside of this wallet, we're trying to get more like two or three ounces for this thickness. Because if we were to use the boot weight or shoe weight stuff on this wallet, it would just bulk up and get super thick. And the other question people ask is, well, why don't you thin down the leather? Why don't you split it down and make it thinner? And the problem with thinning down and splitting leather is it really dramatically reduces the strength of the fiber structure. It's sort of like taking away the foundation of your house. If you just cut out all the foundation, all the framing and the roof and everything else will just be less stable. And that's a really good analog to leather itself. So we'd have to pick naturally thin pieces of leather for the giant of the fox and it's tough for us to get. About 2% of the shells are appropriately thin to make the interior of the Giant of the Fox. Here's another best seller for us. This is a Giant of the Fox in natural Chrome XL. Check out how sweet that Chrome XL is. If you're not familiar with Chrome XL, what you should be looking for when you pick one up is a really rich, waxy, and oily feel. It's very pleasant to hold in your hand. On top of that, it has a very nice, mild sheen to it. It's got a nice luster, not overwhelmingly bright like a piece of shell cordovan, but also on the natural chrome XL is this very pleasant neutral color, which I believe is why, why they call it natural. But in fact, the reason they call it natural is there's no stains applied to this. So really what you're seeing are the waxes, oils, and greases that have been tanned into this leather. And they're sort of a, a nice neutral color. On the inside of this John of the Fox, we have a custom black horse hide that's been tanned to be as thin as possible, as durable as possible, and to develop a nice patina over time. Now this one might be the stunner of the day. Check out this tumbled natural shell, John of the Fox. And about a month ago, we got our first batch of the tumbled natural shell cordovan. You might want to check out that video from earlier to see the variation in the tumbled natural. This one is the most varied that I have seen in that tumbled natural shell. Check out all the highs and lows of this texture and the color in the shell. We start to see a little bit of peaks of brown, a little bit of a reddish brown on the peaks of these little tips and the valleys are almost mild, like a light taupe shade. I think the contrast between those two is very pleasant. So the marble shells appear textured, but they are very flat and smooth. On the tumbled shells, these are actually uh, apparent for this texture. You can feel all those little ridges, all the peaks and valleys in this leather. Check out the inside of this one. I was really happy with this. On the inside of this one, we have a natural reverse interior. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. It's a very clean look on the reverse natural. I prefer the reverse interiors for most of our wallets on the shell cordovan leather. Here's another very special Giant of the Fox. They're all really nice in the batch today. This one on the exterior, I have a remarkable piece of intense blue shell cordovan. And let me just give you a slow <laughs> a slow-mo spin of this one because the color of this intense blue is completely mesmerizing. On top of that, the luster is very much a bright, shiny, mirror-like finish. Check that out. 
certain angles here. This looks more like an aqua blue to me from the angle I'm looking at it. And then when I tilt it up, it's darker. It's almost like a black shade, which is really interesting. And let me pull out the, uh, the what the bumblebee wallet, or the yellow jacket wallet, the taxi wallet, to give you a comparison of the black and blue together. Because it's very obvious when they're next to each other. Sometimes the blue reads more as a black when you're just looking at it by itself. But when you put it next to black, a true black, you can really see the difference in color. So more, more special wallets? Okay. So <laughs> let me show you here. This is our Johnny the Fox in a brand new offering for us. This is the English Hand Dublin Leather, the same great grain character that I saw or that I see on the black Dublin, like I showed you a minute ago. The difference here and what's new for us is this English tan interior. Check out how sweet that is. This is very challenging for us to get a special make and a special color for the interior of the John of the Fox. I have been wearing one of these for four weeks now. And the way that this is wearing in is very pleasant. I'm really enjoying the way that the leather is starting to mold around all of the cards I've put in here. It's become a little bit more round to its contents, which I think is really interesting. But also, it's starting to accumulate little bits of scuffs and scratches that I think make it look incredible. And the way that I'm seeing it patina so far, a little bit of those scuffs and scratches, but I'm starting to see the luster change just slightly. It starts off kind of with a nice shine, like we just polished these, so it's a very nice shine to it. I haven't done anything to this Giant of the Fox, and you can see it's developing a very nice little sheen to it on the outside there. And on the inside, I'm starting to accumulate some more of those little scuffs and scratches. What I've started to do on this Johnny the Fox is flip a lot of my credit cards backwards. So the letters and numbers aren't poking out the leather. I think that's going to give me a cleaner look on these front two panels here. So I would suggest most people try that out. If you're into this look, and I love this, it's awesome. If you like this one, they're back in stock now on our website. The last time we put them up, the first time we put them up, they sold out very quickly, but they're now back up there. And I have three of the same wallets here. But they're all a little bit different because everything we do is handcrafted and every piece of leather that Horween makes is hand finished. So this is a leather called Shell Cordovan in the Kia color, which is a brand new Shell Cordovan color that Skip has been working on for a while. I want to show you this, and the reason I brought out the three here that we made, and these are the only three that we have, is because the color ranges very slightly. And we haven't seen too many medium green colors come in the Shell Cordovan. Usually they're very dark greens. I think it's a tough challenge for them to make a vibrant green shade. Uh, so they tend to look a little bit more forest green, but this Kia has a really nice bit of color to it. It's a little bit more... It's a little bit lighter, I'd say. And I can't, it's, I'm having a hard time describing what this color looks like, but it's definitely reads as a green as opposed to a black, where I felt like some of the dark green shells that we've seen before, they're kind of like the blue, where it reads a little bit black just on first look. But this Kia is really green, and I love it. Check that one out. I'll give you a look at the other two here. Some of these are a little darker. Like I think this one is slightly darker than the first one, but it still reads as a very nice green. And the last one here, I think this one's also a little bit dark. It's a little bit more vibrant at certain angles. There's definitely a color shift that happens on this Kia, which is completely fascinating. One of these, and let me find it here. One of these had a, an interior that blew me away, and it's this one. Check out this reverse interior. And they're all random. You can see the three here. They're all a little bit different. I love this one. And I like that one on the left too. I like all of them, but I like when we get a very dramatic amount of dye stains on the inside. Check that out. I just love that look. So these are a couple different special John of the Foxes. These happen to be shipping out today. I can't wait for you guys to have them. Thank you so much for supporting us. And we've got so many John of the Foxes here today. I don't know which one I can call the stunner. I might go with the, the English tan, 100%. Been really happy with how the matching interior and exterior have, have gone over. I'm, I'm really glad 
to uh, make this one because it makes me want to do more matching interiors on our Giant the Fox. So let me know which one was the starter for you. Appreciate you guys checking it out. And hope you have a great day.